So I said, this is the spirit. It says, for the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Now, an example of that is not going out in the winter. Just like Elitar said, and we, we echo the same sentiment, you guys didn't go out in the winter because basically Nate told you not to go out. In the, you don't have to go out in the winter, basically. All right? So that's an example of causing you to err because the scriptures say that you're supposed to teach the word in season, out of season. All right? So it says, the le- and Nate is the leader. It says, for the leaders of this people cause them to err. Another example is the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, Nate, basically you had the Lima saying that you can call the Most High your play yoga. All right? A lot of us are, are teaching doctrines based on their lust. Okay? Breaking laws and then you're saying that, that, that it's okay to do that. It's righteous. And it's not. Okay? You have to overcome that stuff. You can't you can't say, oh, if I know the Most High's name, I'm good. That's not scripture. You can say Yah, Yahweh, Yahweeh, Yada, you'll play, you'll do love, you can say all you want. You'll play, you'll do love, you can say all you want. You'll play, you'll do love, you can say all you want. You'll play, you'll do love, you can say all you want. You'll play, you'll do love, you can say all you want. That's the examples or that the example that he sets, all right? Meaning He's saying that you don't have to know the name of the Heavenly Father nor His Son. It's not that important. Then he says, Most High and God, Christ bless. That's another example of Aaron. Because we brought out in the scripture in the, in the book of Exodus that you're supposed to uh, uh, reverence the name of the Heavenly Father. That's in the law. Also, it's, it, it's written you're not supposed to make the uh, mention of the name of other gods. Now, this Christ, is a, that's another god. All right, this this Christ uh, thing. It, it says, for the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So soon soon enough, man, you that's led of Nate, you zombies, very soon you're going to be destroyed. And we just gave you a scenario, all right, when martial law is declared, and they systematically rally, start hunting down, because pursuant to Project machine. Megiddo, they have the, the, that's, uh, uh, what, the black Hebrew Israelites, all right, as a threat to the government that's under Project Megiddo so all these slaughterhouses that NATO is setting up when the military goes out there they're going to visit those slaughterhouses right? yeah they're going to visit those chop shops chop shop slaughterhouse I think they, there's a scripture where it mentions about shambles because that's what <laughs> that's what NATO is teaching he's teaching, teaching us shambles you know Tables of That's vomit. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn at the trigger. No. <laughs> he hopes that hosting a yeah, Nate, Nate is a, no, Nate being a, um, a detective, he, Nate was probably one of those guys in the uh, Roman Empire back in about the 3rd century A.D. that was called a Frumentari, which was a secret police that was going around. Come on, come on, yep. Paul, Paul was like a secret police set up. For, uh, he was set up by the... Uh, the, the Sanhedrin, which was the uh, elite the of Israel, they were they were the ones that were sitting in the high seats because they had their own and they were under the authority of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire let them do do things, so they had their own police force and their own secret police. And Paul was one of them. But Paul got Paul got converted by Yahweh Shai himself, and he gave him his name, and he didn't say his name was Christ. Yeah, I got, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, Galatians 2 and 4. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Yahweh Shai, that they might bring us into bondage. You know, and that was happening back then, and it's happening now. So you got certain guys that are set up as Judas goats. You know, but they're going to play the part. They're going to look, and they're going to dress, you know, the part. They're going to act like, you know, they, they're down with you. But then when that time comes, they're going to drop the hammer on you. That's why Nate doesn't go into the chip, cause he's under orders, man. Yep. He's he's a he's a shill. Yep. For for he's really a a, a, a prostitute for the Rothschilds. Yep. All right. That's what he is. That's right. And and that I U I C that ain't nothing but a, a, a how the scripture describe it a, a wall a for untempered mortar untempered mortar like yeah it's a church yeah. 
Uh, this is it here. Um, well, I'm just go right to the point. Ezekiel 13 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will even rend it. Rend means to tear it apart with a stormy wind in my fury. So the day is coming when the Lord is going to visit that IUIC and rip that shit apart, man. Just like a piece of wet paper. And you're going to get to Zariac too. Yeah, and all those other phony, phony groups that are set up with untempered mortar. Untempered mortar means lies. Another word for untempered mortar is lies. Like mortar is used to keep bricks together, but it's supposed to be tempered. All right? Now, you're trying to keep your congregation together, but you're keeping them together with lies. And lies make poor mortar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, the Lord, the scriptures say you, you have to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahusha in spirit and in truth. You, you can't be worshiping in lies, man. All right. Um, it says, thus saith, therefore, saith, thus saith the Lord power, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury. And the example of that is the martial law troops. And there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger. Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, is angry, man. I'm calling him Christ. You think Yahweh Shai ain't angry? And great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with untempered mortar. You hear that, Nate? That IUIC is a wall that you have daubed with. Well, that's those slaughterhouses that he set up. Yeah. All them guys are required to go to the slaughterhouse. That's right. That's that wall you have daubed with untempered mortar. An example of the untempered mortar is, oh, we don't need to know the name of the Heavenly Father nor his son. It's not important. Or we can go out, we can take the winters off. Or the chip, uh, the mark of the beast is not uh, in Revelations. That's not the chip. That is untempered mortar. That, that, and bring it down to the ground. So that IUIC is going to be brought down to the ground. And not just IUIC, all them other phony groups. So that the foundation there shall be discovered. And it shall fall. And ye shall be consumed <laughs> in the midst thereof. Yeah, because that, that Jesus and yep. Christ crap, that, that's not that's not a found, good foundation. That's untempered mortar. Oh, you know what these stupid niggas did? They went to a church out there in Texas. And here, they trying to convert these knuckleheads in the church. And they, they read out the scriptures, and both sides are saying Christ. Both yeah. sides are saying Christ. Esau says Christ. What the hell's wrong with you, man? If the devil's calling on Christ, you know there's something wrong with something that. Something wrong man. with that, man. Anyway, I got a, a scripture right here. You got something else? No, Go I just, wanted to, just wanted to make a quick point. You had you had uh, read the word untempered. I looked the word untempered up from the Hebrew uh, H sixty H eighty six o two thapal, which means foolish, insipid, tasteless, unseasoned, whitewash, meaning uncertain. So basically. That, that that's tasteless. There's you you lo you lost the salt, my man. You know that. Yeah, if you lose the salt, trodden underfoot. You th you throw it on the dunghill and it's trodden underfoot. Yeah, them storm them uh, them stormtroopers. The Lord say he gonna rend it with a stormy wind. That's them stormtroopers. Hey, even uh, what's his name did a, a video. Uh, Alex Jones he called it a, a storm. Was it terror storm? And it was about them uh, the martial law troops marching with their boots. <laughs> A lot of you niggas following the IUIC, you're going to be stomped down with them, yeah. boot, them boots, man. That quote from, uh, 1984. Yeah, yeah. 1984. Imagine a, 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 the, the imprint of a boot upon your face forever. Yep. That was one of their mottos. Yep. And, and you can see it's, it's gearing up, man, with that uh, Baltimore thing. Yeah. You saw how quick the, the National Guard got out there because that's really what it's all about, yep. you know? Yeah, An excuse to bring out the military, to bring out the martial law, the martial law troops to corral the people. Yeah. Then they had that 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 black woman that was supposed that's supposed to be the mayor of Baltimore, yeah, and she was she was out there right, uh, basically talking shit, you know. But then you see the guy that was interviewing him, and behind him you seen police and you seen the national guard out there, because again you used to see in the national guard the mili in, in, in military fatigues out there because that's what's going to really be uh, governing the streets. Because when that time...